So, yep. You're hired. You're fired. Dad. Yeah, Tuck. Uh, and I know you like firm and everything. I really do. This this is a bit too firm. Okay, that that's that's why I put in the mattress on. Oh, that that's what it is. There's there's not a mattress in that. You you you're pulling my you're pulling my paw. The the one I scratch with. No, Tuck. It's really in there. I promise. <laughs> that's insane. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your RV, for your house? They've got sizes to fit it all. You get 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, free shipping, and best of all, it's made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code CAMPERVANKEVIN for 20% off your purchase. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. I'm real good. It's a uh, beautiful Sunday uh, early afternoon here in Concho, Arizona. Uh, the snow has melted. The snow here is, is, is gone about as quick as it gets here so far. I think it's 60 degrees outside, but boy is it windy. But there's a video. There's a video. There's going to be one I've done. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for the last couple weeks. And, uh, yeah. Let's get this thing started. What's it about? What's it about? Yeah, I, I want to know. Martini? Do you want to know? I want to know when you're going to vacuum this old rug. Well, you know, I have uh, 16 little feet that, that bring stuff in here all the time. And I, I can't keep this little rug clean. And I sweep and sweep and sweep and sweep. All of this. Every day. Once or twice. And sometimes I get the electric blower and do it, which really works better. But, uh, yeah. Do a little straighten up in here. I, fun I, I finally hung up my uh, cast iron skillets on the wall. Um kind of had them up and down before i didn't really like that been meaning to do this got that done brought my starlink uh took it out of the bigfoot this is the uh not the is it the receiver yeah that's the receiver the antenna's outside brought it in here got it out of the bigfoot um i thought it'd take up a lot of room wouldn't look that good but yeah that looks all right been straightening up my mouth been straightening up the bed a little bit. Move my CPAP to over here. Yep, yep, yep. And Tucker, he's got to where he don't... Well, he really likes to sleep close to this uh, oil-filled heater. And this oil-filled heater... Really? Okay, it's dirt. <laughs> this oil-filled heater has been able to keep this little uh, 10 by 16 room very warm even down into the low 20s so this is very this little cabin is very well very well insulated in here and uh finally it's uh starting to pay off tucker a lot of people have been asking me how do the babies get on this bed yeah i was kind of wondering tucker you already know oh, oh yeah that's right I have boxes stacked up here. And this is their little this is their little ladder to get into bed. I got a couple pieces of wood on there to give a little bit of support and everything. I am getting some uh chair not chair stair stringers. 
So I'm going to build some stairs that are the same width as this and get these boxes out. But, uh, yeah, we're doing something with this bed today. Uh, my friend Debbie, uh, she used to drive a uh, Fleetwood Bounder. Uh, she gave me this foam mattress several years ago uh, before she lost her battle to cancer. And uh, I sure have enjoyed it. However, I'm getting a dip where I lay. And I pretty much sleep close to the edge because uh, these wedges right here, I'm pointing to baby May May, these wedges with two ears and four feet, it's not me. And that wedge and that wedge, they push on me and push on me. So I don't sleep in the middle of the bed like you'd think. I sleep over here on the side like I was married. It's always my opinion, you know. The man should sleep closest to the door. That way if there's a problem, you at least buy your uh, your better half a few more seconds of life. <laughs> if it's somebody that comes in uh, determined to take it. So, yeah. It's like I'm married to three dogs. That's what it is. Before we go to the shop, I want to show you uh, something else I've purchased. Uh, my goal is to drink three liters to a gallon of water every day. And I've been real concerned about the, was it BPH in the plastic? Um, and I, I reuse the same water bottle over and over and over. I clean it with vinegar about every two or three days. But I decided to go with stainless steel. And I got this one from Ozark Trail. I think I got it from Walmart.com. And talk about nice. I'm so proud of this thing, I can't stand it. Heavy duty handle. I don't get any sponsorship or anything for this. Watch this. You got your screw on lid right here. You don't lose your lid. Put your finger in there like that. The gallon's not so heavy. And not only is it you know, a gallon of water, this is highly insulated as well. So for the price, I think it's around $30, $35 shipped. This is one of my most favorite recent purchases. I've been using this Berkey now for quite a while. And I'm hearing that uh, these Berkeys may not be as good as we once thought. But uh, that's what I'm still using. And uh, no, I don't have any... Uh, plumbing in here. All my water comes from uh, this five, six gallon container right here. And it, at least on the label, it says it doesn't have any BPH made in it. Woo wee! The wind is, the wind is whipping, whipping around. I was telling you about uh, blowing out my, uh, the flooring in the purple tiny house instead of sweeping it. I want to thank David and Janice for sending me this little DeWalt. Uh, blower the Battery's getting kind of weak. I've got the small one on here but This does an excellent job cleaning out the uh, purple tiny house. And I do use it in here. It's got to put a better battery on it I took the 20 volt off this morning to power the drill So yeah, I ordered a few things um I ordered this 9 by 12 foot uh, ugly mat, patio mat, it's what I call the ugly mat. It's the same design as my other one. Uh, before I left to go see Felix in Phoenix. And uh, Jerry from JC Travel Stories, he gifted me, he gifted me this beautiful mat right here. And with baby May May, just using the three legs, the, uh, the front leg, uh, one of the front legs is up, so she's only using one of the front legs. There's a lot of pressure on these volcanic stones on that one foot, so she likes to stay on the mat. But uh, isn't this sucker pretty? Right? Thank you, Jerry. I showed this on my last video, but it warranted mentioning again. And uh, I put this up here. Uh, I wanted a duck. All I had is a chicken. Surely y'all can figure out what I'm trying to say here. 
without me saying it, right? Tucker got the squeaker. I'll get to the bed in a minute, I promise. But I wanted to show you this nifty, well-fitting tire cover custom that I had made for Purple's Faster. Isn't this thing great? Only took about mm, four weeks to get here. And uh, that'll really protect that uh, rear tire. Not slick. Oh, yeah. Now, actually, the company was really nice about it. I sent them pictures, and uh, they started making me another one right away. Um, yeah. Dun, da, da. Yeah. It's been a minute since I put any advertising really on my vehicles. It's not really advertising. I don't know what it is. It is what it is. I like it. That's what it is. And uh, I don't know what this thing fits. The biggest of big tires, like maybe a, a garbage truck or a, I don't know, big earth earth moving truck. But uh, isn't that slick? You don't have to like it. I like it. I'll I will like it enough for the both of us. So the ugly mat I had before is starting to frazzle on the edges. It's up under the jacuzzi, up under the hot tub. So I may not put this out till next year. So now that old man Winter has found RV base camp, um, I'm not going to be staying in the Bigfoot as much. Uh, I believe I may, be, I may be putting some time, more time, in the Purple Tiny House. Uh, you may remember the video where Brooklyn Bedding sent me their top-of-the-line mattress for the Bigfoot. Felix helped me put it in. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this mattress. So uh, I talked to them, and uh, they sent me another one. So seeing how that other mattress is uh, starting to wear... I'll be putting a Brooklyn bedding mattress in a purple tiny house today. First things first though, I gotta get the old mattress out. Make sure that you eat your Wheaties before you try to move your Brooklyn bedding box by yourself. That sucker's heavy. Wind, wind, wind. Okay, Martini, you have to get down for a second. I'm going to take all this bedding off, remove this mattress, put this mattress inside the, the cabin. People ask me from time to time, what's that on your nightstand over there? Well, it's an LED light. My friend Craig gave me a, a wooden alien. And I got a picture of my daddy right beside my bed. I sure do miss him. Horribly. So it's nice having a picture right there of him. All right, let's get this cover off. What do I use for my bedding? My friends Craig and Sandra gave me this cotton blanket. Then I've got a electric blanket. Then I've got a 1950 or 52 wool blanket. Military grade. Then I got a comforter from Walmart. And then I got my my prayer blanket. You know who you are, sweet lady that made that. She said she said a thousand prayers for me, for me to be healed with my cancer. People sent Felix a couple of these prayer blankets too. Let's hope it works as good for him as it did for me. Now that all my friends have gone and left, went on to their own destinations, I'm not I'm not lonely up here. Um, I'm not, but I do prefer being up here with with uh with felix and as soon as they get him all healed up he'll come back oh yeah i forgot to tell you up under my fitted sheet i have another wool blanket so it's like i'm sandwiched between them when i sleep 
I'm warm as a bug in a rug. Okay, old mattress off the bed, headed to the cabin. Duck cabin. Well, I tried, right? I mean, I tried. I used, I used what I had. All this snow and all this snow and dirt roads out here made for muddy roads. I have not forgot to uh, paint this thing. It's just I'm waiting on the right time and the right weather. I'm gonna get it. In fact, I've already got the paint mixed. Thanks, Jerry, for the mat. How many feet do you see being used right now? Uh huh. Sometimes she forgets. We're not gonna say anything. Yeah, keep it to yourself, Dad. This is my uh, one of my alarms. <coughs> Step on that sucker. Talk about giving you chills. I had a lot of important papers and stuff up under this bed, but uh, I decided to get a storage unit and put my valuables somewhere safer in case I have to travel at a moment's notice. But see, there's the Herculiner right there. She's waiting for me to put it on the purples faster. Here's some of the purple paint. I'll give you a sneak peek of the color. That's what she's going to be. Now, never once have I ever said Camper Van Cove is a carpenter. I am not. But, given enough time, motivation, I can build a little bit. I built this bed, and it's been working ever since. Four by four post. Two by sixes, two by eights, two by sixes frame. And then uh, lifts up to get my swords and stuff out of here if need be. All right? Now I've been getting a lot of good sleep in the Bigfoot on that mattress. I can't wait to get this one in here. Now don't do like I did. Felix helped me put the last one in. And we opened that sucker up outside. And we like to never got it in the RV. So take it from me. I do have a little bit of experience with this. Uh, yeah. Don't open up this mattress outside. It's vacuum packed. But, uh using my koi knife here. Take care of this, what, what on there? Take care of this tape. People have been asking me, they want to buy a koi knife too, but koi is almost 80 years old. He's old school. He just sells at flea markets and uh, pew pew shows. Know what I mean? Pew pew pew. That thing is vacuum packed in there. Heavy. Dad. Yeah, Tuck. Uh, and I know you like firm and everything. I really do. This this is a bit too firm. Okay. That that's that's why I put in the mattress on. Oh, that, that's what it is. There's there's not a mattress in that. You you you're pulling my you're pulling my paw. The, the one I scratch with. No, Tuck. It's really in there. I promise. <laughs> That's insane. Whew. Good googly moogly. That's right. Open it up where you're going to leave it. I have to admit, it makes me a little nervous. I'm going to nick my new mattress. You ever seen a grown man cry? Easy does it. Okay, Brooklyn Bedding, if you're watching this, your guy that wraps these mattresses up, 
he should get a raise. Good job. Just saying. I think she's fixing to go. Nope. This sucker's fixing to pop. Sucker's fixing to pop, but there it goes. I can hear the air. I can hear the air expanding in it now. Let me get the rest of this plastic off. The dogs heard this noise. They run out of here. Well, it's all expanded up now. They told me that you need to get it out of that wrapper within the first two weeks. Brooklyn bedding. It's just very, very, very high quality. The fit and finish. And just like that old tire cover right there <laughs> on Purple's Faster size the right getting the right size matters now this is a queen firm now they have several different price points on their mattresses and go to their website and you can see them but i do believe this is their top of the line what a beauty i'm gonna have a hard time getting in bed a little higher than my other one i'm gonna have to jump to get into bed so like i say in my videos there's a couple reasons why i like these 10 year warranty 120 night sleep trial free shipping and you know what best of all it's made right here in the good old us of a so there are a lot of products now that we can't buy this American made. But uh, if you need a bed, you do have a choice. Get something made right here, United States. Okay, here's the new mattress. And my very best attempt, well, I could do better with that pillow over there, couldn't I? All right, well, here's one of my attempts of trying to make up a bed. Never claimed to be perfect. I don't make perfect videos. I don't make up perfect beds, but not too shabby. I may have to get me a footstool tucker and put it right there so I can get in the bed. When Brooklyn Bedding first approached me about uh, sponsoring my videos, I did a little research on them and everything. They didn't have a jingle. <laughs> I said, you guys don't have a jingle. And they're like, no, we don't have a jingle. I said, you're gonna have a jingle. Really? Really? You guys know it, right? You ready? Sing it with me. <sighs> Go to rvmattress.com slash campervan Kevin and <laughs> get up to 20% off of your purchase using the coupon code campervan Kevin. Link in the description below. But uh, yeah, now they got a jingle. All right. Well, I think that makes today's video, so we're going to end this one where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ. He's my Lord and Savior. See you next video. Bye from Concho, Arizona.